Two on, none out, but a triple plays coming up. Caught on the fly for one. Doubles up the runner at first for two. Doubles up the runner at second for three. Tags her out to get her out twice for good measure. Tosses the ball to the infield. You missed that. Here's everything else you missed that you never planned on watching. Boom. All right, hockey. We got the Premier Hockey Federation Championship. We're in overtime. Minnesota and Toronto does. No, tried to go to the backhand. It didn't work out. Now the puck's just getting cycled around. And we got a player pinching real hard. Pickpocket, sir. Gets the puck. Turns around. And then picks the top corner for the game winning championship winning goal that was a nice play that was thrifty and that is that's a lot right there let's go back and watch it i mean that's a big celebration we're really jumping knees up right into her or should i say feet up knees right in they take her down she's like let me keep my helmet down you see that she's like oh boy let me my helmet let me keep that on because you got to be safe and then a dog pile, you know, those are scary and they're cheering here and these two guys are going to high five and it's good at first, but then they finish real odd. Hey, let me take that helmet off. I want to hug you. <laughs> She's like, All right, who is it? Or who is it? Who scored? Oh, it was you. It was you. Good job. You missed that. You didn't watch it. Next up, the Women's Premier League. They got the IPL, which is the biggest cricket league that just started. Well, this is the women's version, and they need five runs off the next six balls. Now four runs off the next six balls. So that's just a nice single right there. They keep it in front of them, but they do run. Oh, they run for two. That was two runs. So now you need two runs off the next four balls. Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? Not only are they going to do it, they're going to do it in style with the ramp shot. That's cool. I was just showing Jack Doyle highlights of this shot in cricket. So most of the time, batters, as we know, hit it forwards. In baseball, you can only hit it forwards. In cricket, you're allowed to hit it backwards, but still, they don't set the defense up in this version of the sport anyway. And in another version, they set the defense up specifically as if you're going to hit it backwards and backwards only. But this version, they don't really put the fielders behind you because they think you're going to want to hit it forward. And what you can do is you have to see that arm is already coming. So the batter has to plan this shot. They have to preemptively just say, I'm going to step forward. I think they're going to throw it full enough, not bounce it. And I'm just going to go boop. And it's going to go over their heads and roll to the boundary, which is four runs. They only needed two. They win the championship. She's excited. But that's that was such a calmer hug than what we had in the hockey. Look at that. In the hockey, they were just like crushing each other. And this one, that's just nice. That's friendly. Yay. And then everyone comes out and they win. They win the championship, and now the IPL, the men's league, has started, and I've been enjoying that thoroughly. All right, next up, I want to tell you about a new league that started, a volleyball league called Athletes Unlimited Athletes Unlimited Exhibition Tour, and I believe they might have this for other sports because I remember seeing this for softball, but I could be wrong. It starts now, and it's really interesting because you have like a tour, and it's teams, but individuals, and then the top four individuals so you get points for spikes for digs for whatever and then the top four point getters are the captains in the next location they go and they play against colleges play against each other they're playing against ohio state kentucky texas penn state it's really an interesting format to have you know you're individual but you're also a team it's more of a reality show because okay you want the team to win but i i want to get a i need a I need another spike to become a top four captain. So screw you teammates. I got to get the spike in. Uh, so we win. And I am a captain next week. I don't know how selfish it gets or not selfish, but it is an interesting wrinkle into a sports league that uh, I'm interested in. And it just started. So you didn't know about this because you totally forgot. And now you can check it out if you want. It's called Athletes Unlimited. A lot of this stuff is on ESPN+. Plus. That's where we find it, and that's where you can find it. You see all these people? These are fans of the National Women's Soccer League. The San Diego Wave and the Chicago Red Stars played, and a record was set for attendance. 30,854 fans were in attendance. The San Diego Wave hold all the attendance records, and there were two fun goals where everyone was just playing keep up. You know, a game as old as time. You just don't let that thing hit the ground. I mean, that pinballed how many times? So you got the corner kick, and then 
Maybe, okay, that hits the ground there, but now it's up, and we have head, head, foot, body maybe, and then foot for the goal. You know, just a little popcorn, head, head, foot, foot, in. That ball didn't want to touch the ground at all. And then later on, we had another one where we're going to cross it over, and then, oh, the defender kicks it, and then, bam, boots it, makes the save, hits the crossbar, headed in. That stinks for the goalie. Watch. She made the initial save, and then she just, okay, now just fall down, and I'll catch you, and no goal. Instead, it hits the crossbar on the way down, so now her jump is mistimed. She's out, and the defender's right there to put it in. Huh, that's pretty brutal. But not for them. They're excited. They scored. And then we do have a handball in the 87th minute by number three there. She says, really? Really? Okay. And then the keeper's going to guess the right way, but it's placed perfectly. And San Diego wins. That's Alex Morgan. Everyone knows her. She's America's sweetheart for a little bit. And you missed that because you never planned on watching it besides the 40,000 people that were there. Good for them. And there you have it. That's things you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you for tuning in this week. If you enjoy these, you can subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. And before you go, fan of the week. Who you got? Vote nicely, you know? Just cast a nice vote.